time has finally come. It is time to start packing for my trip to Disney World slash Universal, but mainly Disney World. So before I start packing, let's get into some trip highlights. First of all, we are going for my mom's birthday slash my brother's graduation. We are just going Thursday to Monday, so just enough time. And I'm really excited, so let's get into it. So we're gonna be eating at Be Our Guest Restaurant in the Magic Kingdom. We have never ate dinner there before, so we are super excited. We're also going to Shula Steakhouse, which Chef's Kiss, I know it's gonna be amazing. We're dressing up, it's all fancy, I'm really excited. We're also going to Paddlefish, which is in Disney Springs. We've also never been there. Also something exciting, this is my first time that my brother and I are gonna be traveling alone, but I'll get into that tomorrow. And then we're also gonna try to go on the Velocicoaster at Universal, which obviously gonna be amazing. And then of course, we're going to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which we've been there multiple times, so it's not a first time, but every single time I go, I'm just in love with it. And then also, we are staying at a one bedroom at Saratoga Springs. We have never stayed in a one bedroom before, so I'm really excited for that. My brother and I are flying from Washington DC to Orlando and my parents are going in from New York. So they're gonna be there a little later in the day. They have to work and all that. But my brother and I are done with college now and we can go have so much fun. I'm so excited. Um, but for my suitcase, I use this base suitcase. Base is Shay Mitchell's luggage company. So I'm really trying to not overpack on this trip, but I feel like it might happen. Last time we went, I did a whole shopping spree at Zara. But with that, my suitcase was like way overweight. It was too big. Whatever, so I'm trying to not overpack just in case I buy a bunch of stuff. Also, half the clothes I wanted to wear didn't come in time. I have like a full-blown wardrobe of Disney clothes that I wear every single trip, but they're at home in New York because typically we fly from New York or my parents will come and we'll fly from here and my mom can bring me my shirts and then take them back home. But they didn't come in time, so I'm missing like four or five shirts that I was really counting on. So I had to go back in and pick out a bunch of other outfits. So these are like my backup outfits. These aren't like my really cute Disney ones, but if those shirts come in by the end of this video, I guess I'll just have to repack. But my main struggle for this trip is deciding whether to be cute or to be comfortable. When you go to the parks, are you cute or are you comfortable? Like, I don't, I don't know. Typically, I go for a comfort look, but I'm thinking for this trip, I kind of want to do a cute look just because I'm going to be vlogging, going to be taking way more pictures. So I don't really know, but these clothes are like cute slash comfortable slash I might go get a whole new wardrobe when we get there and go to the Disney store. I don't really know. Also, if you're wondering, no, I'm not bringing any Mickey ears. I know this might be a very unpopular opinion, but I don't like wearing them in the parks. They make my head hurt. They're cute for the first like 30 minutes, but as soon as it gets too hot or like my curly hair gets stuck in the bedazzles, I just, I don't like wearing the ears, okay? So I'm gonna bring this olive green dress that I got from Target and it's really cute. It can be dressed up or kind of dressed down. I'm kind of going for the more dressed up look. We're going to Shula Steakhouse, which is at the Swan and Dolphin and it's really fancy. It's like a candle lit dinner. It's really nice. So the attire for women is like dress, khaki. No, actually I don't think you can wear pants. I think it's just like a dress or a skirt or something like that. Whatever like the fine slash signature dining dress code is at most of the Disney um, restaurants, that's what Shula's is. So I have this dress for that. I'm also gonna bring this shirt, which I got from Target, as you can see, white and blue stripes. It has little roughly sleeves. Like I said, we're going to Paddlefish. I thought this would be super cute there, like Nautica vibes, but I also thought it might be cute at Epcot. I don't really have any plans of when I'm gonna wear exactly what. I just know they're gonna be worn at some point. And then I'm gonna pair it with these jean shorts that I got from Zara, which again, really comfortable. I typically don't like jean shorts. So when I go to Florida, I wear like the Nike shorts, you know, like those nice ones. But I'm gonna try out the jeans. I might really, really, really regret it, but we'll see. I'm also gonna bring my black Walt Disney World spirit jersey. This is probably my favorite one. Normally at night, if we have dinner at like Disney Springs or dinner at a resort or something, I always like to bring this because it's easy to throw it on and typically the restaurants could get like really cold. So I'm going to bring the black one because it goes with everything. I'm also going to bring these little like spandex shorts, whatever. They're like barely pants, but I'm going to bring these. They're just from Forever 21. I can wear these under the dress, but mainly what I wear them with is this Baby Yoda shirt that I got off Etsy. We love Baby Yoda or Grogu, you guys will see. My mom will probably wear one like every single day of the trip. So this is extremely big. It's like a dress on me, but I don't like to just wear this because it's a little too short. So I'll throw these underneath. I'm also bringing this little sports bra that I got from Forever 21, but honestly, it fits like a shirt. I like to be appropriate in the parts. Like I never bring anything that's like, boobs out or my butt is out or anything like I like to be very appropriate so I'm gonna bring this and it's gonna double as a shirt for me like I said I know it's a sports bra but it's gonna double as a shirt and then also like these go well with these shorts the shorts come up perfectly so it's just like a little bit of like a stomach show but nothing crazy um and this is actually gonna be my airport outfit tomorrow so I'm gonna wear this sports bra and then I'm going to wear these biker shorts that I got from Fashion Nova and then I'm gonna pair this jacket over top I'm obsessed with this jacket it's from Fabletic 
six. It is so cute. I You can't see how cute it is, but tomorrow's vlog, well, Monday's vlog, you guys will see how cute it is. And then I'm also gonna bring these black shorts from Zara. Again, just black jean shorts. I put, thought they could match for any outfit. And last but not least, I am bringing my Harry Potter and the Half-Blood print shirt. This is my favorite Harry Potter book, my favorite Harry Potter movie. So I wanna bring that. Like I said, we're going to Universal. I'm bringing something else. But I'm gonna wait. You guys can see that in a little bit. I have my pajamas, Slytherin pajama pants, just a random t-shirt. And then I'm gonna bring my 2020 white Disney jacket. But I always like these because sometimes the room gets really cold at night or like when we come in from a long day, the room might be freezing. And it'll feel really good, but I always like to cuddle up with a jacket. So I'm gonna bring that. So I was able to fit all of my clothes in the large packing cube, which is really big for me because typically I have to use like a bunch of little ones to fit it all. So I'm really impressed by this, but I also hope I brought enough clothes. I hope I I brought enough stuff that I'm gonna be comfortable while there. I really don't have any tips for packing besides roll it and I would actually invest in these packing cubes and no I'm not gonna say it like makes a huge 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 difference but it's just a little bit more convenient in my opinion and when I get to the resort I like to just like plop it into the little draw thing and then have it be done. So for shoes, I have three options. I'm definitely bringing these sandals. I'm gonna wear these to shoeless. I think it'll be cute with that dress. Air Force Ones or Adidas Ultra Boosts. I typically bring the Ultra Boost just because they're comfortable, they're like made for this, I wear them to the gym, but I don't think they're gonna go with every outfit and I feel like the Air Force wants to go with every outfit. I just washed both of these yesterday and I wear these to Disney all the time. These aren't like my fancy going out Air Force ones. These are like the meant for the parks. I'm just gonna bring the Air Force ones, I think. Right, I think, yeah, Air Force ones. I don't know, what would you pick? Let me know down below. Expecto. <laughs> my Slytherin robe. Proud Slytherin. I have my specialized ivy wand. I'm hesitant to bring my wand because whenever we go to Universal, it's always like, where do you put the wand? So when you buy one, at least you get the bag in the box. But if I just bring this one, I'm going to have to like hold it and not break it. So I don't really know. This is going to take up the most room in my suitcase, but then I'm pretty much done with packing. I'm also just going to go ahead and bring a bunch of my little masks. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to want to wear on what day. I'm definitely going to wear one of those like surgical masks in the airport. For toiletries, I'm really lucky that I don't have to wash my hair. I did my hair yesterday, so my curls are going to last for the majority of the trip, which is really nice. So I really only need to bring a body wash and then, you know, like toothbrush, all that. Like I had said, I have these little, like, cosmetic bags that I got from Base 2. And then I have this little set of toiletry things that I got off Amazon. And they've come in clutch. So I filled this one up with body wash, like, back from my last trip. Travel size. Toothpaste, travel size, toothbrush, of course. I'm gonna fill this up with some cleanser and then I'm gonna fill this up with just some moisturizer. And then I'm definitely gonna be bringing my sunscreen. And then, oh, I also wanna bring mascara. I never bring makeup to Disney, like literally ever. But I think it will be kind of nice to have some makeup while, because you know, I'll be on camera and stuff like that. Do I do my skincare like tomorrow morning at like 4 a.m. and then get on the plane? Cause I feel like it could come off. Do I do the makeup before or should I do it after? I'm also going to bring some deodorant. I I just use the Tom's natural deodorant. I've been using it for like a year now, so I'm all detoxed. It works pretty well for me. And then I'm also gonna bring my gua sha. We have a little mini travel sunscreen. And also, pro tip, guys, go get this for my ladies with the thick thighs. But walking around the parks all day in the heat is not fun. I always get little rashes. It's really just not fun. And I was like, wow, is this just the consequences of having thick thighs? But then I realized, just go get some of this. And I put this on every morning. It works really well. This lighting sucks, but I made this little bag that has deodorant, sunscreen, stuff that I'm gonna use like right when I get off the plane. This is gonna go in my carry-on backpack. Then this is gonna go in my suitcase. And these are just the things that I could live without for a couple hours. Normally I just go to sleep on the plane because we typically leave really early in the morning. And I also really hate flying. I have to pop like 10 Dramamines to just be able to do it without getting nauseous or sick or any of that type of stuff. So I typically go to sleep, but Let's say I'm awake for a little bit or maybe when we're sitting in the airport, I am going to bring some books because that is like my main form of entertainment. So I have this book sleeve that I got off Amazon. So I'm going to bring The Alchemist. This book is super short. I really didn't want to bring a book that I would be really invested in. Like if I bring any of my really new books, I'm just going to want to sit on the deck all day and read it. And that's not smart, obviously. So I'm going to bring The Alchemist because it's really short. I could probably finish it on the plane or in one sitting if 
for some reason we have like a long period of time i'm also thinking i'm gonna bring harry potter and the philosopher's stone i'm gonna bring the first book because i've Oh my god, I was like, why does it say Sorcerer's Stone? But I forgot there's the whole printing thing. I've of course read it before, so it's not like I'm gonna need to be glued into it to like figure out what's going on. And I just thought it would be fun to read it. It'll get me in the mood for Harry Potter, even though I'm always in the mood for it. For my carry-on bag, I just use this backpack from Super Dry. So I bring this electronic carrier slash carrier thing i don't know um i got it from dagny dover so it is a little bit pricey but i think it is perfect for travel look how many compartments come on the inside and then it's just like really thick but also like thin material that can like squish down into a bag but also isn't gonna break any of your things so of course i'm gonna bring camera charger the adapter the other charger my airpods my beats all of that is gonna fit in here but i gotta edit this video before we leave tomorrow morning so i'm gonna pack all this up probably late 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 tonight or early 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 in the morning but i just put it right at the bottom of the bag and it fits perfectly i also bring my laptop which i'm gonna put the case on it and i'm just gonna slip that right in the back handy dandy travel pillow i actually only got this a couple days on amazon and for some reason i just went procrastinating getting a travel pillow and my brother's like maya we travel so often just get one like stop like making your neck fall to the side just buy a travel pillow so i got one next thing which i have not used yet on a trip so i'm really excited to try it it is just this little camera holder that i got on etsy it's like a brown leather and it fits my camera perfectly i use a canon g7x and i think it will be nice to just have this on my side when we're in the parks i typically don't have my phone on me i leave it in the backpack but i'm gonna need my camera on hand and i thought it would be inconvenient to have to get it get the backpack pull it out record put it back in the backpack just too much work so i'm just gonna throw it into this so i think that'll be really fun i was just packing up this bag and i looked in this front pocket and i forgot i keep all of this stuff in here so let me go through this real quick this is like my emergency kit like i just said i literally like live on dramamine so i have a pack right here my mom's also gonna bring some i have two sanitizers as well as a little sanitizer i keep clipped on the backpack and then i also have some hair ties in there so that always comes in clutch we have my magic band with the annual pass thing on it you need this like as soon as you get there i know some people have like jumped up to just using their phones but i still like using magic bands and then i also have this portable straw that i actually don't end up using but i feel like you never know they don't have straws anymore in disney i mean it's been a while now but it's just like the paper straws and i always hate when they get like all crinkly when you haven't drank enough or when you get like a frozen drink or something so packing is complete i'm actually like really proud of myself because like i said i typically overpack i still have to add some things i can't really think of them off the top of my head but i think in the morning it'll just be like you know go get this this is my airport outfit and then we have my carry-on bag but like i said i have to add way more stuff to this so that's gonna be a little bit more heavy than it is showing i'm so happy i am gonna be vlogging the entire trip so we have travel vlogs starting on monday and then i'm gonna vlog all the parks i said i'm so excited like 400 times already but i'm just really excited i'm really excited to finally bring the vlog camera and show you guys why we love it so much why it's such a big like part of my family like we literally have a disney room in my house at home in new york but i think this is all i have to say to you today i don't know i'll let you know if that package ever comes because it still hasn't come but all right i will see you guys on monday for a travel vlog